Using Library Resources, an Overview. Today's session will cover the basic use of our library webpage. At the end of today's training, users should be able to find books, database articles, and journal subscriptions using our search tool, find our collection of LibGuides, which are our ready-made bibliographies on selected topics, find our monthly list of current articles, know where our faculty-specific information is located, and know where our interlibrary loan page is located. Before we get started, users must know where to find our website. It can be found in multiple ways, all of which are listed on this slide. Once you have gotten to our basic search page, you should click on the button that says for USAWC students, faculty, and staff. This will take you to our War College landing page. This is where we can begin our basic searches. If you look at our search box, you will three, see three tabs. The first tab you see is Search USAHEC Collections. This will actually take you back to our public search screen. You can search through many of the USAHEC's items through this page, but we are going to demonstrate searching for a book. Simply type in a search term, like I have in there already. If you need some help, you can look at our search tips up on top of the page. Click search, and you will get a list of results. Once you have found a title of interest, you can actually click on the title and it will give you a more detailed record. Of particular importance is this information down at the bottom of the record. It lets you know if the title is in Root Hall or in Ridgeway Hall, and also lets you know if it is available. When we go back to our landing page, we can look at the second tab. This is our search databases tab. The list of databases included in this search can be found here. If a database does not have a torch near it, the database must be searched on its own. To search any of the databases that do have a torch near them, you can simply use our search box. Simply type in your search terms Use quotations around anything that you want searched as a phrase, and then click search. You will get a list of available resources. If there are too many, you can use the filters on the side to limit them. Some of them include dates, whether or not full text is available, or a certain type of source. Once you have found a title that's available, you can click on the blue title. If you are off post, you will see this blue login screen. Simply type in the username and password from the colored paper card the library has provided you with and click log in. You should not have to do this if you are on post. Depending on which vendor is providing your article, it will come up in a variety of ways. However, nearly all of them have ways to cite the article or download a PDF copy of it. The third tab in the search box allows users to see if the library subscribes to a certain journal, as well as which dates it subscribes and whether or not it is available in print or electronic form. To use this, simply type in the title, whether it's the entire title or just a part of it, and click search. A list of results will show which journals the library has 
and what the date ranges are for each title. For this journal, we have it in a variety of ways. For example, from 1922 to present, we have in print form in the library holdings. We also have access to foreign affairs through a variety of databases in a variety of years. In addition to this search box, there are many other helpful features available on the landing page. This box, Bibliographies and Guides, leads to a list of LibGuides. These are resources on certain topics that are gathered by our research and instruction librarians. They contain books, articles, and many other pieces of media which may be of interest if you are learning about a certain topic. Going back to the landing page, you can see current awareness underneath the Bibliographies and Guides page. This page leads to the collection of open resource articles that are gathered and sent out each month. Faculty and staff members can find lots of good information by clicking on this box. This includes how-to tutorials, the name and contact information for the liaison librarian for their department or institute, course reserve information, and much more. There is also a students page. If you have students in your seminar that need help, they can go through this page to find information on librarians, borrowing materials, and other important information that might be helpful to them. If our libraries do not have an item, users have two other ways of obtaining it. They can register as a guest at Dickinson College to check out books, or they can submit a request through our Interlibrary Loan Program, which is a cooperative agreement with a network of other libraries. The form is located here. Simply fill out the form and click Submit. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Please let us know if you have any additional questions.